We work with the Warby Motorsport team to provide overwatch for Dave. So there's always eyes from an aerial perspective for Dave wherever he is on the course. Over the, over the 12 kilometres, we've got multiple teams stationed along the course. So he's never not got eyes on him just in case something goes wrong. We've got an aerial perspective that is a little bit easier to see um, logs or sticks in the water uh, and then we can bring the SES teams in to, to pick that up to make sure Dave doesn't hit anything on his runs through. Is it to spot what's sort of under the water and on top of the water? It's vital. Um, we're talking to Dave. The smallest of sticks at 400 kilometres an hour, it feels like a massive log to cause massive damage to the boat, which is ultimately safety for Dave. The ultimate bad day, bad result, is a boat crash, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, and that's what we're here for. So all of our aircraft are fitted with alarms so the boats can actually identify exactly where Dave is along the course because they're stationed at different areas along the course. They've also got rescue pods, so we can drop those pods in just in case something does go untoward and, and Dave's got the ability to grab onto a pod or it's, it's used as identification of where the boat is. We're a critical part of the team um, with the Warby Motorsport team. We've, we've been to every race so far and we'll continue to support Dave until he hits that ever elusive world record that he's chasing to beat his dad. Yeah, he'll do it. Yeah, Why he'll not? get there, absolutely. <laughs> it's just like driving a tinny for him. <laughs> it's a pretty fast tinny. Yeah, absolutely. Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.